Gezellig. 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 Well, first word you have to learn is gezellig. 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 A gezellig that's a kind of an atmosphere. Cozy, like cozy. Yeah, uh, co cozy is the closest word in uh, international language. Gezellig is when a uh, group of students are together, you know, having lunch, eating, going to the party. It's a gezellig, good time. There is no explanation for gezellig. No, no. It's a feeling, you have to yeah. feel it, you, you have, have to experience, experience it. I think Holland is a very good blend of uh, good education, but also having a lot of fun while you're there, executing it. And there are more and more uh, international students coming, so we want even more to make it a very nice place to... Uh, but what you also see, people, the society is really open, really friendly. You, I mean, there's not many places, I think, around the world so open like Holland. Foreign students, they are always, you know, really excited about Holland, like the places to go. And then a lot of friends, they ask you, well, have you been there? And then I have to say, no, I've never heard of that place, uh, but they know. So they know Holland better than uh, most Dutch students, I think. It's pretty funny. Um, the bicycle culture. Bad weather. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bad summer. No summer. Gas <laughs> uh, is uh, not cheese. They have dinner at six o'clock. Uh, beer. I think beer is important for the Dutch, exceptionally for the Dutch student, but also for the Dutch citizen, because it's a form of uh, recreation. Well, especially internationally, what's typical Dutch is, you know, always bargaining for low prices. That's a typical Dutch uh, fashion. That, that all the cookies have the same ingredient. That's uh, the same as specula. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> That's strange yeah. about Dutch. If you go for dinner, they'll see to it that everybody pays for the dinner. It's never, they invite you to their place and then they'll ask you to pay for it. Yes, well, first you arrive, I mean, I don't know, you plan things like spontaneously. You call, hey, let's have a coffee, let's have a dinner today with your friends. That's not how it works here. Um, I remember when even I have a Dutch friend and I'm like, let's have a dinner together. Yes, let's have a dinner together. So when when should we have a dinner? She opened an agenda and found a date for me like uh, two months later. <laughs> she found a guy and I'm like, okay, in my place then? I mean, <laughs> that's how it works already. People in high school have agendas and everything is planned. Uh, this is not like, uh, I don't know, Spain, Italy, these kind of countries. If you say three o'clock, it is three o'clock. It's not 3.30, it's not 3.20, it's not 3.10. So this is something you have to keep in mind. Here people, because they are so open, they tell everything straightforward. So if they don't like something, they're going to go straightforward with it. And it's good, but it's also very different from my culture. So at first you have to get used to it. Sometimes you don't take things personal. You can say whatever you want to say. If I say you, you look stupid, I'll say it. OK, you, you take it. You take it from me. You say, okay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and I think that's, that's really Dutch. You, you can say whatever you think. And people accept it. Of most of the people. Can you pay for me? Something. <laughs> They're cheap. <laughs> It depends a bit. You can go uh, and do a sport or something, it always helps, or uh, something uh, creati creative that you are in a group. Um, go to the bar and drink beer, then you can make friends. 
Oh, and eat with your housemates. Do something that you like and there you find the right friends for you because they are the people that like the same. Um, what's funny in Holland? Well, in Delft you have a lot of uh, nice uh, places, nice bars uh, at the, the square. But also Rotterdam, of course, you have, uh, we call it Old Harbor. It's a very uh, interesting, interesting place for students to go, have a drink, you know, cheap beer, and uh, have a gezellige tijd. When you go to a bar and you want to meet a girl, you don't talk about politics. Mm, well, you can give them compliments, they like compliments. Uh, just be a bit uh, creative. Yeah. Creative, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and look happy. You cannot be worse than Dutch guys, so. Can you open my? I like your eyes. Um, yeah, buy an umbrella. <laughs> the, the, the wrong attitude, in my opinion, is that I also realized that I had to try to compare. So here is different because in my country is uh, I'm not used because I think it's good for them to not behave like they're used to behave in their own country but to adapt them in the Dutch culture. So behave like a Dutch guy. Yeah, be active, approach the Dutch because they're nice people like that person over there. But they don't do the first step most of the times. So if you approach them, they will approach you. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Enjoy your daddy love here. Enjoy, never stay home, just go out. Lots of things going on. Ja, maak het gezellig. 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 Gezellig.